guys, I just wanted to tell you that the overall rate of reaction, of course, you have many steps involved. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven steps. And I wanted to show you essentially that it's about mass transfer uh, phenomena, right? One, two, three, actually one, two, and six, and seven. These guys here, involved. this is about matter, external and internal diffusion. This is mass transfer. And these guys right here are more into kinetics or reaction kinetics. So we're going to make a little bit more focus on these steps right here. The limitations could be either in the mass transfer uh, concept, so you have a very limiting, uh, let's say, your step one, let's go here, step one, two, six, or seven are taking a lot of time compared as these three steps, or you could have chemisorption, adsorption, or kinetic problems, limitations. You're taking more time in actually absorbing or reacting or desorbing. So that's very awesome because we're going to analyze that. So essentially if steps one, two, six, and seven are very fast, at least compared with the steps three, four, and five, then we can say that the transport or diffusion steps do not affect the overall rate of reaction. We're going to say that the overall rate of reaction is limited by our uh, kinetic or chemisorption concept which is essentially right here. This is step three, four, and five, which is about chemisorption. And this is one, two, six, and seven, which is mass transfer phenomena. Once again, let me show you that this scope that we're going to analyze the most is, of course, step three, four, and five, which is more about reaction per se. The other one is more about on mass transfer phenomena and operations and all those studies on mass transfer. Diffus diffusivity and the constant of mass transfer, etc. We're not going to see that actually. I will be preparing that course eventually, but right now we're just going to stick with the steps three, four, and five. At least the most amount of material is going to be about that. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.